Hi, I'm Jonas, and in my thesis, I make tools that help software developers create reliable software. The life of a software developer is not always easy, because one challenge is that they have to manage all the things you see on the screen and store them in the short-time memory of the computer, the RAM. So I've shown here to the left a little portion of RAM, and you can see that it's being used by a PowerPoint and that it contains the title of this slide. Also, right after the title comes this logo, and remember, this is going to be important afterwards. So the challenge starts when I want to, for example, change the title of the slide. Um, I don't change PhD thesis titles very often, but com developers still need to handle this case. So here on top, I showed some code that a developer might write to do this. The code receives the new title, and then it copies each character into memory to where the old title was stored. This code works, except when I try to change my title into something really long, because then, suddenly, this crash dialog appears. Why? Because in this case, the developer did not think that somebody might use really long titles, so there's not enough space in memory to store it. This code here just copies all the characters, and this will override the logo and whatever else comes afterwards in memory. So in my thesis, I built two projects, represented by the two red arrows on the slides. First, in the first two years, I worked on tools that find crashes. You might ask, why would somebody want this? But for developers, it's really useful to uh, detect these kind of cases. They might not think about testing their programs with really long titles. So the, the tools I built help them discover this case before the users see it. Secondly, I built tools that transform programs. In other words, a developer writes the code on top, my tool transforms it into the code at the bottom. So here you can see that my tool added a safety check to the program. That check detects if something bad is about to happen and prevents it. My tool is different from everybody else's out there because I can add these checks without making the program slow. The secret here is to measure every single one of the checks. So I found that some are much faster than others, and my tool can keep the fast ones and remove a few that are too slow. In the last 10 seconds, I'd like to tell you why. The first reason I'm doing this is because we all need computers. None of the great research about stem cells, for example, would have been possible without them. But I also put here a heart, because computers are fascinating. Thank you. <laughs>